My name is James Lumsden. I'm an artist based in Edinburgh, Scotland. I live and work between studios in Edinburgh and the Isle of Lewis in the Outer Hebrides. I originally studied graphic design but, and worked as a graphic designer for two years before deciding that I really wanted to switch to painting and I've been painting for the last 30 years. I've probably had about 30 to 40 solo exhibitions internationally. I would describe my work as a sort of process based, primarily abstract. I'm trying to create paintings that have a, a sense of light, not an illusion of light, but, but light coming within the painting through building multiple layers. The, the process has come out of a 15 year period of experimentation with various tools, trying all different things, all different possibilities to manipulate the paint. I don't start off from any sketches or any sort of preconceived plans for the work. I'll just pretty much start putting down, down layers, putting down colour and reacting so each layer I, inspires the next layer and I react to each layer. I start building multiple layers of gesso, sanding back the gesso to create a very fine surface. I then apply multiple layers of acrylic mixed with various gels, matte or gloss gels depending on what the, the surface I'm looking for in the painting. Maybe 30 to 40 layers are applied. Um, these layers are applied with both brushes and squeegees, plastic and met metal instruments which act as palette knives. I drag and pull the paint across the canvas occasionally on a left to right sort of rhythmic motion creating various marks, organic marks, deliberate marks, accidental marks. Each, each layer is then left to dry for two days, sanded back slightly and then the whole process is repeated again. So eventually, over a period of weeks into months, there's a, there's a history builds up on the surface and through the depth of all the different layers and glazes of acrylic. It's quite hard to know when a painting is finished. It's really a sort of a gut feeling because it, uh, with, with the, the, the process that I use, and because it's the nature of acrylic, acrylic paint, I could go on adding layer upon layer upon layer. The paintings have different surfaces. Some of the paintings have a high gloss surface, and other paintings have a, a matte surface. I'm, in these paintings, I'm using interference and iridescent paints. The interference and iridescence colors have a flip effect, where the color shifts from, from a violet to a green, or from a blue to an orange, depending on which angle the viewer views the painting from. I work in two or three different series in my work because I work from two different studios. Um, I'm working in a studio in the island where I'm, there's more of a sort of sense of landscape, a sense of place. There's a sort of, there's more of a, an iridescent light happens in those works because I'm, I'm travelling across this, a body of water called the Minch, which has this silvery light and iridescence. And so that's sort of played played into the work, but they're not landscape paintings as such. In the studio in Edinburgh I'm creating paintings which are more sort of purely abstract. Um, I'm sort of searching to create a sort of sense of light in these paintings. I'm interested in the history of monochrome painting, the single colour canvas, how to bring that tradition forward. The series Resonance is a series I've been working on for the last few years. Um, it's a series amongst many where I use musical titles such as Resonance, Contrapuntal, Fugue, sort of create an analogy with music within what I do. I'm not actually doing paintings about music, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping that a viewer gets the same sense, the same feeling that they do listening to a certain piece of music. The series Lucent, they relate to the Resonance paintings, but there's more of a sense of landscape comes into those paintings, but they're not actually about landscape. The hard edge line which I create it's more to bring a sort of a dynamic within the painting, more of a contrast between different elements of the painting. The Point series is a series of uh, paintings which are produced in the, the studio in the Isle of Lewis. There are paintings where a sense of landscape comes in. I'm not actually wishing to, wanting to de depict that landscape, but the sense of place, the sense of being there has permeated the work and it's, uh, it's sort of difficult to paint there without that landscape without that light, without the iridescent light that you see in the sea from the studio coming into to the work. Mm -hmm.